start the second year, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Snow Plowing Simulator. I actually got a key for review purposes, and that was uh, through keymiller.co. And uh, they gave me this key, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just play through the first 30 minutes. My review is going to come at a later time. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. We'll make it realistic right now. Let's go ahead and start the game. You can see that we have... Um, interesting. Why does it look so dark? Uh, weather station. Thanks to the weather station, you can see where the weather awaits you. And okay. Ah, look at that. Get all the light and everything. It's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Social table. Um, okay. So apparently, uh, what I didn't notice is that we do have a tea area. Um, and if you're wondering why I actually know some of the information, or at least. Uh, I actually played the game for about five or, uh, I'd say about 45 minutes. Uh, I totally forgot to save. Uh, I do have a video when somewhere along the line it did, uh, kind of, uh, messed up on me. And it's because I was messing around with some of the settings. But anyways, uh, back to the point. Um, basically, on the top left-hand corner you can see that I have 5,000 cal uh, calories, or, yeah, 5,000 K-calories. Uh, basically, this is a simulation. So, any, anything that we're using throughout this uh, game, we're going to use up energy. And so as we go along, we're going to see these things that come up. And um, so we have the computer, we have all the things that are around here, we have the map, which is kind of interesting because it looks like it's not loading all the way. We also have the board, uh, which is used to save the game. So if I wanted to go ahead and save the current state, I could go ahead and do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head outside, and uh, we use the regular left click uh, to open. I always want to press like E, and E comes up with the character and what type of uh, things that we have. Um, it's kind of interesting because we just started the game. So as we go around, we can see that we have um, snow. Clearing out snow from the path to the office, you'll not, not earn money on it, but you're allowed, it will allow customers to place orders and remember to buy the right tools as well. Uh, so basically, we are going to be working to try to go ahead and um, clear out the snow. And then uh, we're going to go ahead. All, in, all information appearing on the screen is remembered. And then that, uh, the number context, which is the icon, that indicates how many, uh, how many of this information is saved. You can always enter and see the messages uh, that missed uh, by pressing the I key. Oh, I also I forgot to tell you, um, when you're playing this game, it actually tells you that you're not allowed to play with the controller. I was somehow able to play it on my Steam Deck, but for some odd reason, this particular game takes a lot of resources. Uh, I think it has to do with the, the snow simulation. Um, I did bring it down to a medium right now. I could definitely put it to low, but it just looks so gritty. Uh, so I'm just going to play it as much as I possibly can. So uh, it's basically telling us that we have to go to the computer to buy tools. We have no tools. We just started the game. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So I'm going to go over here. And if you're wondering why I sound a little bit different, I'm actually uh, using a Razer headset. Um, I'm going to be traveling pretty soon, and I'm going to need to be able to do this on the fly. I'm going to take my capture card and a, and a laptop to, with me. And so you may not see this particular game, but you'll see other games that have been playing on the Steam Deck uh, throughout the week. Uh, so that's just a little bit of information there. So we're going to go ahead and go to the store. We're going to buy our small shovel, and then we're going to go ahead and buy. Uh, just like any other simulation or anything in real life, I would say simulation. <laughs> uh, but anything in life, if we were to uh, buy something, it has to be delivered. So this particular game <laughs> relies on that. Uh, there is also a key uh, so that we the carrier brought in the shovel. And so it goes shipments and the carrier. Some items purchased in the online store will sh uh, soon be delivered by the carrier. You'll know that the carrier has arrived because we definitely heard the horn. Um, and apparently, uh, an appreciate a message I will appear and uh, they leave the parcels. So basically, you know, you, you get your tools. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and left click on it. And now we have our shovel. 
Um, it was a bit hard for me to kind of uh, understand what the heck this game was telling me what to do. Uh, but if we were to hold the Q button, it tells us what particular area we have to uh, clear out. You're gonna notice, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a small shovel, which is um, our number one key. And I'm gonna go ahead and start shoveling. I'm just gonna shovel all the way to the gate. And at the top right hand corner, we have a percentage that is being uh, displayed. And as we're, you know, shoveling that snow out of the way, we are uh, basically getting you know, where our goal is. It's weird though, sometimes uh, I'll start in one corner and, um, and somehow I move like to the center. So that was interesting. I'm gonna go and uh, gates and wickets and barriers. All properties uh, that you will work are unavailable, but are available only when the work is appreciated by the client and will recommend you to another person. Entering the area will not be possible until you receive a recommendation. Some properties, despite recommendations, will still not be available until the snow, uh, you, you snow the access. Oh, okay, so like you plow the area. Okay, um, we are gonna go ahead and focus on clearing out this area. And it is a simulator, so if you're not keen to all any type of simulators where they do take time, this one will take some time. I think I played, um, I, like I said, I played this for like 45 minutes to figure out what was going on, what I was, like, what was the objective to go ahead and do. Uh, basically, uh, this is a almost, I don't want to say true simulator, but I mean, it, it's to the point where you, you know, you have to take the time and go ahead and, uh, um, do it like any normal simulator. Uh, like, you, you know, you, you if you were to play like an airplane simulator or something, um, some airplane simulators like the flight simulator from Microsoft uh, does take some time to get through because there's some actual, you know, flying. And if you do it in an ultra realistic, it, it will do in the same flight time that you'd normally do it in normal life. Of course, you can go ahead and um, uh, change the settings uh, right now I'm I'm just going through the realistic part right now yeah it's, it's gonna it's gonna draw out some of the um, the video of course but I mean it's so that you can get an indication of what the game's about if this game is gonna be fit for you um, you know I'm not I'm not gonna want be the one to tell you hey buy this game this is actually a pretty fun game for me because it gives me in the I don't know I, I don't know what it is about objective based games sometimes it it just gets me to that point where i'm like okay i can do this um it's kind of like power wash simulator you know power wash simulator you have to clean out uh those uh, anything that you come across uh in every job and so this one kind of has that similar um objective of hey you're, you're cleaning something up you know so we're going in here um and like I said, if I do sound a little bit different, it's because I'm using a regular headset versus my uh, microphone that I normally use. And we are at 70 something percent. Oh, it's because we still have this area. You know what? I just saw something. Um, what is that? Did I get money? Looks like I have money. So let's press one, put the shovel away, pick up. Somebody lost some money! I'll take it. Okay. Um, and then we just have to kind of like clean it up here. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, the music is also pretty good. It, it's not like I'm hating it or anything. It's so... We're good in that aspect. And I'm just out of bounds of things that I'm supposed to be cleaning up here. So just these areas. I don't exactly know where it's putting the snow. All I know is it's taking care of it. Okay. It looks like we can make minor, um, like directional changes when you're, you have the mouse. So I guess I could see that reason why the controller doesn't work. 
I mean, it's not a, it's not a, what do you call it, a, um, what do you call it, a deal breaker for me, because I can, you know, I can end up playing it, um, we're at 90 something percent. I think I got up to like 95% one time, uh, at least the last time I was playing, and that didn't seem too bad. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be perfect. It's not like we're getting paid on this one. We're just, we're just getting to go through the tutorial here. And of course, all right, took care of that, took care of that, took care of that. We can see that the little indication, or at least the percentage indication, um, in the top right-hand corner as we take care of it. Um, okay. And if you're one of those sticklers that just has to, like, you know, clean everything, that's, that's cool, too. The game will actually indicate whether, um, it should indicate it. You know, and I honestly, don't, you know, don't take my word for it. I was gonna say it should indicate whether it's complete, but I've actually got to the point where it was like 99.9% .9 or something like that. And I just saw that, that edge right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here. Alright. That's what I like about having the keyboard. Um, you can press multiple keys. So we're at like 98.1%. We got some little spots here and there. For some odd reason, I don't know why. Um, when we get to these edges, like the sidewalk, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So, like, if I were to shovel this into the sidewalk, it, it'll bump up. Oh, we already have 100%. Okay, cool. So what I ended up doing in this one was hand over the job or press enter. It says you want to hand over the job. You snowed 100% in this time. We'll go ahead and click yes. So we've completed the level. I didn't understand either, that either. Um, but at least you know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, um, the video short here. My name is Mozart II. I'll see you in the next video.